So how do you create a brand that truly represents who you are and the products you sell, as well as building a business that you can scale online? That is what this podcast will help you do. My name is Henry Kaminsky Jr. and welcome to the Brand Doctor Podcast. Let me just make this statement loud and clear. Jersey's here. Jersey's here. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another live stream Brand Doctor Podcast. Today, I have a ex- very, very special guest. This guy is an expert when it comes to tax credit. So listen up, guys. If you own a manufacturing company, uh, a company that employs engineers, a software development company, whether you're doing dev for yourself or for customers or clients, uh, process improvement companies, if that applies to you. I want you to listen up because we have an amazing guest that's going to help you understand tax credits more, aka free money, uh, because there's a lot out there that I know a lot of these types of companies aren't taking advantage of. And I, I wanted to bring somebody on the show that could really help you out. So without further ado, I want to introduce Stephen Epstein from taxcreditexpert.com. What is going on, my man? Thanks, Henry. I, I love being, uh, love chatting with you, love working with you. So super excited to be on the show today and help your audience kind of recover some free money. There's, there's a lot of money out there. Um, I think we're all getting acclimated to the government, throwing us a bone here and there with the PPP money and all this SBA loans that are out there. Well, there's there's more. And companies like Amazon and Google and all these tech companies and the large guys have been using tax credits for decades and decades. And there are lots of tax credits available for your average company out there. So I'm excited to expose your audience to some of the resources that they might be able to claim. So here's my first question to you. Like, who is this? Well, we'll, we'll get into this in a second. I really want to get a better understanding of who you are and, and why you got into this type of business in the first place. You know, it's funny. I don't think anybody uh, sets out to be a tax credit expert, right? Like they're, they're like, oh, I'm going to be an entrepreneur. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn all about tax credits and helping people get free money. And that's not really how it probably goes for anybody. But I've been involved in you know seven or eight different companies over the years. Um, I've been involved in a publishing and training business that I started We have a very large and successful real estate development and construction company in Nashville that my wife runs, uh, that she started the development company. We've acquired a granite and stone businesses, a business in Cincinnati. We, I mean, done a lot of different things in, in business, um, from service companies to, to, you know, whether that's like online training to, you know, physical companies that install granite countertops or build buildings. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I have a pretty diverse background and I stumbled across tax credits for one of our companies and was like, this is incredible. We're basically getting free money. And how come I'm, you know, I'm 13 years into business and I haven't figured this out, you know, and, and I started talking to some of my friends and talking to some of the acquaintances and business contacts that we have. And there was lots of people that were like, no, we don't, we don't know anything about that. We've never done that. I went to give you a perfect example. Went to my father, father-in-law's company that he's owned since the early 80s. He's been eligible, Henry, for tax credits for like 40 years almost. Oh my God. And he hasn't been claiming them. He didn't even know that they he didn't even know he was eligible. So again, those credits have come and gone over the last 40 years, and they've only been made permanent in the last, you know, five or six, but it doesn't matter. There's we calculated something like six million dollars worth of unclaimed tax credits for him that he could have claimed over over the years, or that that that's what those credits would be worth today. So, and again, we're not talking about a big business; we're talking about a business that does, you know, I mean, I don't want to give away too much proprietary information, but we're not talking a giant business, okay? So, okay. so it's it's remarkable how much. But this is not a one like only a one time thing. This is something that you can reuse over and over and over again every year in the future. So it's the kind of thing you want to put into place in your business if it's eligible right away. And you can actually go back a couple years to uh, to claim credits from previous years if you're eligible and you didn't claim them. So anyway, don't want to talk too much about that. But um, yeah, I mean, is there anything else you wanted me to say? 
Well, here's here's my big question, right? Like, who is this for, and who is this not for? Yeah. So if you're if you do anything in the like hard sciences at all, you're a great candidate for some pretty big credits. Like, okay, so give like, me some examples. Uh, yeah, definitely. So. Um, if you are a manufacturing company and you don't even have to build it yourself, if you just design stuff here in the United States and then you have it manufactured in China or you outsource it, it's totally fine. But it's the design, it's the engineering work, it's the process uh, improvement work, it's the it's the uh, pro- product development work. If it involves any kind of patents or or um, proprietary, you know, engineering or formulation. Uh, there's tons of Amazon uh, businesses out there that develop products and they, they do research and in, in, in development, for example, is one of the many credits that we help companies recover. So companies that you wouldn't typically picture, like w- when we say research and development, you think of like a chemicals company that's working in a lab with beakers, pouring chemicals with a, you know, uh, uh, a scientist standing over it. And that's not really what it is. You know, I mean, even, even when you do, um, you know, if, if you build websites for people and you have to do custom coding and you're testing and experimenting with the different kinds of code, you'd be eligible. So you know, engineering is a large industry and it touches a lot of different businesses. So if you do any kind of engineering where there's technical uncertainty, where there's, um, you know, there's, there's some risk that you're taking. You don't know what the outcome is going to be exactly. You don't know how long or how much money it's going to take to develop a certain product or a certain improvement to a product. I mean, I'll give you a great example. Um, there's this company that, that does that they sell coffee on, on, on Amazon, pretty big company, and they sell a coffee grinder and it's an awesome coffee grinder and they have a patent. Well, they didn't realize Henry that they, that they could qualify for a bunch of money for research and development tax credits that they could have for developing this coffee grinder. So, you know, the kinds of companies that don't qualify are just like a service business, right? Mm -hmm. If you just perform a service or you just sell something, um, you know, but like even real estate development company could qualify for uh, certain tax credits because there's an aspect of engineering and, and re-engineering the things. And, you know, you've got uh, architecture firms are, are eligible, um, contracting companies like uh, like commercial contractors that build homes may be eligible for some or commercial, you know, build office buildings or where, whatever. So if you deal with a lot of engineering work in the business that you're in, there's quite a few different tax credits out there in order to incentivize innovation, in order to incentivize you to reinvest in your business and make your products better and keep America competitive with the rest of the world. That's, that's the purpose of a lot of these credits. So if what you do enhances that or, or, you know, furthers that, then, then there's probably some credits out there for you. Now, what are we talking credit wise? Like I know it varies, it's like what you could potentially get back. So I'm curious because I know a lot of listeners and viewers are probably going to be like, well, what kind of money are we talking here, Steven? Like, yeah. is this, is it worth it? Yeah, you know, yeah. it's almost like refining a house, right? Totally. Totally. Um, it's a great question. The, the, the average company size that, that we work with is going to be your one to $50 million a year company. If, if your company does less than a million dollars in revenue, it's going to be more brain damage than it's probably worth. If you do over 50 million in revenue, there's a pretty good chance you're already claiming a lot of these types of credits because you're paying the best accountants and lawyers and you're, and you're, you're paying these various different professions. So that's really the sweet spot. The majority of the companies that we work with, I would say Henry are in the five to $20 million range. Cause that tends to be, to be where it makes sense to claim these types of credits. But let me give you an example. Let's say you spend, a million bucks a year on payroll, okay? And and a lot of the people in your organization are involved in, let's say, the research and development aspect to your business. You've got some, you're an SEO company, for example, and you've got, you got people that do SEO. Well, they're constantly testing and trying different SEO 
uh, strategies out to see which one gets the best ranking. That's research and development. You wouldn't even think of it that, right? So let's say you spend a million dollars a year on payroll with different, you got your software engineer, you got your SEO architect, you got your coding person. I don't know exactly how you got your shop set up, but the reality is that let's say you spend a million bucks and of that million, about 700,000 of that is going towards actual like uh, on the ground development work or testing work or implementation. It's the, it's the actual doing performing of the service, not the sales and marketing people that you pay unless, but some of their time may be eligible for credit actually, because they may be working with the engineers. Right. So long story short, let's, let's say you spend a million bucks a year on, um, on payroll and outsourced contractors you could be looking at anywhere from a sixty thousand to a hundred thousand dollar a year or more uh, credit, and that's cash back in your pocket, which is you know significant, right? And that could be you could get that every year going forward, potentially forever. Um, these credits are pretty uh, well entrenched into the tax code to the point where they're probably not going away. So, so that gives you a ballpark range. We're not talking five grand. We're not talking ten grand. We're talking you know, 20, 30, 50, a hundred thousand dollars a year. I mean, there's a, there's a a software company that, that built a lot of custom code that we found $509,000 of tax credits for half a million. Yeah. And, and I mean, they are not a big company. (laughs) They don't do more than four or 5 million a year in revenue. So I mean, we're talking pretty because they had invested Henry very significantly in the building of their platform. The more money you've spent building your platform, the more, the bigger your credit. It's not about your revenue. It's about how much you've invested in actually building the infrastructure that you have built. So you could be a startup with no money in revenue and you've spent $3 million of engineering time building this kick-ass platform. Mm -hmm. And you could be eligible for huge credits, even though you've not paid a dollar. I have a, Stephen, you got my head thinking, we got my head spinning here. I have a few clients that I think I need to introduce you to because I think they would be perfect fits. And we pay, we pay a referral fee for any, any business that any of our listeners are, are bringing to us. So if you, if you contact me through our website, taxcreditexpert.com, just fill out your contact information, get a hold of us. And say, hey, I, I've got a few people that I know I'd like to be uh, part of your referral program. If, if those clients turn into business for us, we'd be delighted to pay a, a referral fee to do that. And you don't need any kind of special license or anything to pay out fees like that. So Nice, nice. Is there anything that you want the, our audience to know before we start to wrap up here in regards to um, how they could potentially... Uh, qualify? Do yeah. you have a pro? Like, do you have a process that you we could send people to 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 kind of get an idea of whether or not they're going to qualify? Yeah, we do. If you go to our our site, taxcreditexpert dot com, and you click you know schedule a consultation, you'll go through um, a little form that asks you a couple questions, and at the end, it'll tell you if if you qualify um, for a consultation. But you know, reality is, if you do. You know, if you spend more than about three hundred thousand dollars a year in payroll or um, ten ninety nine contractors onshore, okay, very important. I didn't mention this onshore. These are not tax credits to to send uh, business to India and to the Philippines or to Eastern Europe or to some of these places where people do custom coding. So, but it doesn't matter if if you have supervisors or project managers, and then you outsource some of the work overseas, you still get credit for the, for the people that you have here in the United States. So, I mean, I would just say, you know, if, if, if you've spent in the past, in the recent past, not five years ago, six years ago, whatever, but in the last couple of years, you've spent a lot of money on software development and you're either a new company or you've, or you've spent a lot of money engineering. Uh, there's one group, one group that we worked with, uh, engineers, uh, parts for lawnmowers, literally like, they just improve. And I'm not talking like your lawnmower in your backyard. I'm talking like commercial equipment, like lot, like right. lawnmower, like John Deere type tractor parts. Right. 
And, and that's all they do. They just engineer just different mechanical parts and they get them manufactured in China. Well, they got a huge tax credit because they're doing a lot of engineering work. So you, you just, you never quite know if you're eligible or not, but the, the key is really how much money you're spending every year. So 300,000 is kind of the minimum of payroll and outsourced contractors. And if you know, up to whatever, five, $10 million a year in, 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 in outsourced labor or, or W2 labor, it's worth exploring. Wow. Awesome. 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 Steven, I appreciate your time. I know you're a busy man. I know you got, I know you've got to run. Um, I appreciate you coming on today and, and, yeah. and sharing this expertise with, with my audience. I know there's quite a few people that listen to the show that I know could definitely use your service. Um, right. So guys, I've known Steven for quite some time. I've worked very closely with him. Uh, he's actually a brand accelerator graduate. Uh, so I've, I, I've spent quite some time with Steven and, and, and I'm vouching for him. This guy is extremely thorough in what he does. Uh, he, listen, if you want somebody in your foxhole to really help you get these credits back and, and help you reinvest that money, uh, Steven's your guy, you know, and I, and I don't say this, uh, softly either. Uh, this guy really knows what he's talking about and I'm sure he can, he can help you through the process. So it's seamless. So basically you get him the information that you need him that he needs and he will do the rest. Yeah. And our, and our fee is hundred percent contingency based, right? So we, we take the risk with you. We're in that foxhole with you. We only get paid if you, we can recover money money for you. So there's really no risk in, in exploring this. It isn't going to cost you anything and then blow up in your face. So that's, that's the power of our model. And uh, yeah, thank you, Henry, for the kind words. I would also just remind people like you can take those tax credits and you can spend them on whatever. We just bought a, uh, a 22 foot Chris craft ski boat and it's incredible. And that was paid for with tax credits from one of my companies that we did this on. So all I can say is there's money out there to be collected. You can use it to grow your business. You can use it to, to hire somebody. You could use it to pay yourself. If you've not been paying yourself, you could, you could go buy a ski boat with it or, or <laughs> renovate your, renovate your house. I mean, I don't care. The government doesn't care. It's just, it's a financial incentive and uh, it's, it's pretty meaningful. And there's other kinds of things like hiring credits. If you hire tons and tons of people, um, you know, there's hiring credits, there's all different kinds of credits out there. So today we focused on one aspect of it, but you know, if, if you're a business that you think, you know, might, might qualify, just reach out and it's a free consultation. It doesn't take us more than 15 minutes to figure out if, if you're a good candidate for moving forward or not. And we cut right to the chase and we'll figure it out quickly for you and, and estimate your credit over the phone. So that Steven, give them the website one more time. Yeah. It's www.taxcreditexpert.com. Dot com tax credit expert.com can't get simpler than that man <laughs> appreciate, appreciate you taking the interest in sharing this resource with your with your listeners absolutely absolutely so there you have it guys definitely go check out tax credit expert.com uh steven is definitely the man you want to talk to again super thorough he's not going to point you in the right in the wrong direction and he's going to tell you straight out, you know, the one thing I love about Steven is he's a straight shooter. He's going to tell you straight up whether or not it's worth your time or not. So head over to taxcreditexpert.com and uh, see if you qualify today. Thanks again, Steven, for coming on the show. Guys, hope you got some value out of this one. Have an amazing day and I'll catch you on the next episode real soon. Take care. Hey everyone, this is Henry Kaminsky Jr. again. And really quick, I want to invite you to a one-on-one -on -one consult with me right now. If you're looking for the clarity and focus you need to build your brand. Over the past 13 years, I've served hundreds of entrepreneurs that have great products but struggled tremendously with articulating its value to their ideal customers. You didn't get into business to just change a few lives, did you? Your ideal clients need you. And when your brand has precision crafted messaging coupled with beautifully thoughtful design that sounds, looks, and feels like you, they'll know you're the perfect match for them. If this is something you're struggling with, what I want you to do right now is pause this audio and go visit 
www.uniquedesigns with a Z at the end, not an S, dot net, and book your one-on-one console call with me. Remember, the quality of your brand will determine the quality of your clients. And the quality of your clients will determine the quality of your life.